Well, in France, President Emmanuel Macron went around his nation's parliament to push through an unpopular bill that raises the retirement age. Violent protests broke out across the country as opponents called for a no-confidence vote for President Macron's government. Macron says raising the retirement age from 62 to 64 is necessary to keep the pension system from falling into a deficit. So CBS News correspondent Elaine Cobb is following this for us from Paris. Um, good to see you, Elaine. So first off, I want to start off with this move that um, President Macron was able to implement. It's called uh, Article 49.3, I think. So how was he able to get this across the finish line without having parliament vote? How does that work? Good morning, Anne-Marie. Well, Article 49.3 is a special constitutional power that can be invoked if a debate is going on too long on a bill or if the government feels it won't get the vote it wants. And so Macron has instructed his prime minister to go down to the National Assembly ahead of the planned vote yesterday afternoon because it was clear his minority government was not going to get the bill through. And so she simply invoked this special power power. She has done it before. So often, in fact, she's becoming known as the 49-3 Prime Minister. And that is part of the reason why protesters took to the streets almost immediately, because they were furious that after all this time, the government just pushed it through anyway. Yeah, I heard one person describe it as inelegant, which I thought was very classy. Another person described it as basically undemocratic. Um, so, of course, people were already protesting in the streets before. They responded immediately. How bad is it out there? Because the protests have been going on for weeks now. It's quieter today, but a major union protest has been called for central Paris in a couple of hours' time, lunchtime, in the hope of getting people out to say, look, this is ridiculous. It shouldn't have happened like that. It shouldn't be happening at all. The unions say they are stepping up the strikes, stepping up the protests, and they will keep going until the reforms are scrapped altogether, which is very unlikely at this stage. And then what but about it was this? bad last night as... I'll let you, sorry, I'll let you finish. Sorry, there were protests last night, and because there's so many garbage um, piles around Paris with the two week old strike, they were sort of the perfect target for people to simply set them on fire, leading to this cat and mouse game with firefighters. That sounds horrible, and I, I can see the pile of garbage just behind you there. And if, if you've ever been to Paris, like you just don't see garbage like that. It's not like that in, in Paris. Um, so what about this business of a vote, a non-confidence vote? Uh, like, is this a serious threat to President Macron? Could this happen? The far-right uh, National Rally Party has threatened to bring a no-confidence motion. Now, they've done this before, and they lost. It does come down to how much support um, any of the far-right or far-left parties, who also want one, can garner. But the Conservative Republicans have already said they will not either bring a motion of no-confidence nor vote one. So it's unlikely to actually go through. But it is, again, a a mark against President Macron, who is being seen as far more undemocratic, seen as someone who just wants to push things through that he wants, and is simply not listening to the people. Elaine Cobb, thank you very much, Elaine.